With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Come and Paper Mate 10 bring you Fibber, McGee, and Molly transcribed. The show was written by Bill Leslie and Ralph Goodman and directed by Max Pato. And Molly will be with you in a minute. This is Don Wilson. Do you know why Tums are called the don't wait relief for acid indigestion? Well, it's simple. With Tums on hand, you don't have to wait even a minute for, say, pleasant relief. There's nothing to mix. You don't even need water. Yes, Tums go right to work, give you top speed relief whenever some favorite food, smoking, or overindulgence causes heartburn, sour stomach, or that unpleasant gassy fullness. Tums are so pleasant, minty tasting, just like candy. Here's something else really important. Tums are not water-soluble, so they never over-alkalize the stomach, never cause acid rebound. That's another reason why millions of smart Americans always keep Tums handy, always carry them in pocket or purse for record-fast, safe relief whenever or wherever acid indigestion strikes. So don't wait. Get Tums today. They're still only 10 cents a roll. Where are we driving for this Christmas tree, and how much will it cost us? About half what the guy asked for. It. I drive a hard bargain, you know that. Them slum raised lumber jerks don't put anything over on me, kiddo. I'm screwed. Mm hmm. Where are we going? Right around the corner here. Same place we went last year, and I got a ten-buck tree for three fifty. All it took was a little sob story. What was that guy's name again? Do you remember? Marvin. Christmas tree Marvin, he called himself. Oh, yeah. The way you had your arm around him during that transaction, I thought he was at least your cousin. Oh, well, I got a good deal out of him, didn't I? <laughs> Boy. Boy, I don't know. He could have made a living the way I chiseled him down. Uh-oh, here's the place. Wow. Look at them. Beautiful trees, too. I'll wait in the car, McGee. These big transactions always embarrass me. There's nothing to get embarrassed about. It's just business. When he says ten bucks, he don't expect to get ten. He expects to get seven. That's why I gotta say three so I can get it for five. You really ought to learn about driving a bargain on account of... I'll wait in the car. Okay, it won't take long. This guy's easier to chisel than a bar of soap. I'll call you when I get the price settled and you can take your pick. That's the fun of buying the trees, beating these guys down. Yes, sir, you looking for a Christmas tree? No, no, I'm a bird's egg collector, Si. I thought I'd climb a few of these trees and see if there's any bird's nests. Of course I'm looking for a Christmas tree. Good. But I don't want a clerk. I want to deal with the owner. Marvin, his name is. Kind of a sweet, kindly-looking old pigeon, or a gent. Oh, you must mean Marvin Myers. Oh, he ain't here anymore. He's selling razor blades now. Oh, gee, that's too bad. What happened? Oh, too soft-hearted, Marvin was. Oh? Sucker for a sob story. Every chiseler that came along took advantage of him. Oh, well. Well, I'm sorry to hear about old Marv. But we really got the trees here this year, mister. Just look over this row here. Take your pick of anything in this row for only ten bucks. Ten bucks? Some of those trees are over three feet tall. You look them over. I'll go help some of these other customers out. Out is right. Out to the poorhouse. <laughs> ten bucks for a three-foot tree. Come on, Molly. Let's leave the car here and walk down this way. There's a lot of lots along here. You didn't buy a tree? Marvin sold out. That was the new owner. 
Remind me to check the post office tomorrow, will you? Post office? What for? If that guy's face ain't up there on the wall with a reward for him, it ought to be. Of all the bare-faced burglars. Oh, come on across the street. Oh, that looks like a nice lot. What does the sign say? Bruce's Spruces. A tree to fit every pocket. Well, let's not stop here. We don't want a tree we can put in our pocket. Oh, that's not what it means, Molly. Hey, look at them prices. Oh, all trees. 30 cents a foot. Say. That is a bargain. I won't have to chisel on this guy, kiddo. A 10-foot tree for three bucks, huh? His prices are better than old Marvin's were last year. Oh, and look, they're beautiful trees, too. Yes, they are, ma'am. Beautiful. Glad you like them. Uh, she didn't mean to say that, but that's no fair. <laughs> they are rather nice, though, sir. Well, yeah, take your pick, ma'am. Thirty cents a foot. I'm the kind of a guy that appreciates an honest deal, but if I can't do any better. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with you. I'm not even going to chisel you down. I'm just going to pick out a tree and pay your price. Thirty cents a foot. That's the way we like a deal, sir. Here's but... a beauty, McGee. How tall is that, sir? About ten feet? I, uh... Yes, I'd say that's ten feet tall. Well, wrap it up, Buster. Ten foot tree, thirty cents a foot, three dollars, right? Well, that's the way most lots sell them, by height. But we do it a little differently. We sell by the branches. By the branches? Uh, this beautiful tree has, say, uh, oh, twenty branches on it. Average branch, say, four feet long. That's eighty feet of branches. Thirty cents a foot comes to twenty-four dollars. What? Oh, my. Twenty-four dollars? Twenty-four bucks for that beetle-bitten batch of sawmill bait? Why, that lopsided droop limb collection of chewed up pine cones ain't worth 24 cents. Oh, McGee, now don't That broken up. down, banged up, bow-legged balsam ain't fit to start a fire with. Why, look at the trunk on it. I lived out of a better-looking trunk when I was in vaudeville made out of straw. And them limbs. I have saw prettier-looking limbs under a plaid skirt on a sergeant in the Scotch Guards. Pa! Am I to understand from this that he doesn't want the tree, ma'am? Yes, I'm afraid you're barking up the wrong spruce, Bruce. Come on, dearie, let's go. Say, I've got it straight from the North Pole that Santa's warming up his reindeer for the takeoff right now. So if you're shopping late, give Papermate. Papermate pens are so easy to buy, you can get them everywhere. Your neighborhood drug, tobacco, department, or stationery store features the famous retractable Papermate in seven beautiful color stylings. And you get a free gift box with every pen. And when you give Papermate pens, you don't have to worry about sizes or styles or whether people will like their gift or not. You can bet your Christmas stocking they like Papermate. It's the pen that bankers and school principals approve. Papermate pens can't leak, and the ink can't smear or transfer. Why, everybody that writes would love to have a new Papermate. It's a gift they'll really use and appreciate. So, if you're shopping late, give Papermate. And remember, you can buy them everywhere, right now. The famous paper made pen in a free gift box. Only a buck sixty nine. Let's tell them again, Molly, together. Shopping late? Give paper made. Boy, what a bunch of burglars I've run into so far. My gosh, you think with all the Christmas tree lots there are along here, some of these guys would be anxious to do business, wouldn't you? They are, but not at your prices, dearie. No. They all seem to have a peculiar attitude about losing money, don't they? Well, don't worry. I'll get a Christmas tree bargain. If it takes till Easter Sunday, I'll get one. Feels like Easter Sunday today. You've laid an egg at every lot so far. Mm. <laughs> Look, why don't we go home and plant a pine cone and wait? We might get a tree quicker that way. You think so, huh? You know what these guys would charge me for a pine cone? Probably but. Say, there's an interesting looking lot. The one with the horseshoe nailed over the office there? Mm-hmm. Very modest sign they have. Texas Tall Timber. The greatest trees on earth, or any place. Come on, let's go look around here. they certainly got plenty of trees. No prices on them. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Texas Tall Timber. Uh, oh, uh, 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 hi, sis. Well, I down and said it, spell partner. You too, Marm. Oh, thank you. We, uh, why don't we just... We're just looking around, sis. Is Tex busy? Well, I'm Tex, partner. Who? Oh. Tex Aurelia was my baptizing name, but folks around these here parts just call me Tex. Well, howdy, Tex. I'm right glad to meet up with you. Likewise. I take it you're a hankering to round up one of these here Christmas trees. And, partner, you come to the right place. I've got about 300 head here, all prime Texas timber. My, were these trees grown in Texas? Raised them all right on my pa's ranch, marm. Right nice layout pa's got down there. Bunkhouse is right on the Rio Grande. These trees here come from way down there, partner? No, we raised these here trees on the north part of the ranch, partner. 
That's in Oregon. Oh. It's got quite a spread, Paul has. Probably from sitting on them horses all the time, partner. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's get down to business, partner. Pretty mangy looking bunch of trees you got here, partner. How much you aiming to get from? Well, how much you aiming to give? How much you aiming to get? Well, I'll tell you, partner. I'll go ask my partner, partner. Uh, hey, partner, got a couple of Yankees. Let's get out of here, McGee, before that road company, Annie Oakley, comes back with a buffalo gun. Yeah. Kind of a crummy-looking bunch of trees, anyhow. Doggone it, I'm going to get us a tree someplace if I have to chop one down on the city hall lawn. That might solve everything, dearie. I understand they serve fine turkey dinners in the city jail on Christmas. Uh, I could make you a plum pudding with a hacksaw on it, and I'd... Yeah, have there's you... a lot we didn't try right across the street there. See it? Happy Herman. High trees for low prices. Hmm. Well, you go ahead, dearie. I'm going back to the car and wait. I'm tired. Okay, Tootsie. Well, luck I've had so far, I'm about due for a break, and this might just be the place. Hey, here's a nice tree right out in front here. Yeah, nice and full. Now, if I can get the right price from Happy Herman... It sure is hard to find a decent tree, isn't it? Yeah. These lots are so muddy. Aren't they a mess? Look at my shoes, just ruined. Yeah, sure a gummy-looking bunch of trees, aren't they? Oh, I don't know. I got one here that looks pretty good. So cold out, too. Just miserable. Yeah. Well, now, if I can get hold of Happy Herman and get the right price on this tree... Well, you're talking to him. You? You are Happy Herman? I was three days ago. But there's nothing gets you down like selling Christmas trees. Everybody's got a different complaint. The trees are either too short or they're too fat or they're too thin. It's just too much. All I want to do is sell these last 200 trees and go home. Well, I may be able to help you, Hermie. I take this tree here. It's a little cockeyed. Not exactly what I want, but... You give me a right price, and I'll take it off your hands, boy. Well, my feet are cold, and I want to get back in the trailer, so you can have it for $8. I'll give you three. Oh, my, here we go again. Seven seventy-five. Three ten. Seven fifty. Three twenty. Seven and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Seven bucks. Three fifty-five. <laughs> Five and a half. Four bucks. Five and a quarter. Four. I'll make it five even. Four. McGee, I hate to interrupt, but could I have the keys to the car? I want to... I'll be with you in just a minute, kiddo. Well, Herman, what do you say? Okay, I give in. Give me four fifty. There you are. Four bucks. I'll see you next year. And not if I recognize you from the trailer window. I had to come out of a nice warm trailer. Just... Well, Molly, how does she look? Nice tree, but dearie... He wanted eight bucks. We saved four smackers on the deal. No, we didn't. What do you mean? That's what I came over to tell you. You've been here an hour, and that traffic cop over there is giving you a parking ticket. What? If you had left the key so I could move Where? the car. Oh, no. Well, bring the tree, kiddo. Now, you wait a minute, officer. I can explain. This is Christmas week. You wouldn't give me a ticket on... say good night to Fibber and Molly in a moment. Time is slipping away. There are only two days left in which to buy that kitchen radio to place under your Christmas tree. Just imagine the pleasure that will light the eyes of your homemaker this Friday morning when you present her with a radio especially for her kitchen. She'll know that you appreciate the three to four hours every day that she spends cooking, washing dishes, or doing the many other chores in your kitchen. With a radio in the kitchen, the world will be at her fingertips when she sets the dial to the NBC radio network. There's wonderful music, drama, news, and comedy to make the time pass swiftly and to brighten an otherwise dull day when the radio is your companion. So tomorrow, for sure, look over the marvelous variety of gaily colored radios made just to blend with the decor of your kitchen. And you'll also find that the clock radios available at your favorite store can be helpful in turning on and off electrical appliances. Make this an especially bright and merry Christmas with a present that will bring pleasure all year long. Give a radio for the kitchen to your wife or mother on Christmas Day. It is a beautiful tree, McGee. We'll set it right here by the front window. Good. I called Dr. Gamble and asked him to come over tomorrow night to help us decorate it, okay? Sure. He's going to bring his little Miss Callahan with him. Oh, swell. Have him bring a stepladder, too. Mine's busted. Okay. Good night. Good night, all. Tums, 
and Paper Mate Pens have brought you the Fibber, McGee, and Molly program transcribed with Natalie Masters as Tex and Jack Moyles as Herman. This is John Wald inviting you to be with us again tomorrow night for another visit with Fibber, McGee, and Molly. Kitchen's the place for a radio and the dramatic shows on the NBC Radio Network. David's Bridal, where brides and bridesmaids get fabulously dressed. We let our friends pick out what we wear, show off our dance moves, obsess over every little detail, hold your hand through it all, smile bravely when it's time to let go. Make your dreams come true. The things we do for love. Only at David's Bridal. David's Bridal. Where brides and bridesmaids get fabulously dressed. We let our friends pick out what we wear. Show off our dance moves. Obsess over every little detail. Hold your hand through it all. Smile bravely when it's time to let go. Make your dreams come true. The things we do for love. Only at David's Bridal.